of my favorite games I've ever seen. Even though I haven't played it, but that's not important. Not only does the game have some stunning visuals and gameplay, but the soundtrack is phenomenal. Plus, who doesn't like the sound of a satisfying parry? Anyway, I wanted to make a battle theme for Samurais for quite a while now, and I think we can use Sekiro's soundtrack for inspiration. I want it to be tense and exciting, yet also graceful in a way. Let's listen to the bit of the soundtrack and see what we can work with. Unitro's theme is one of my favorite themes on this soundtrack. It sets a wonderful mood for Sekiro's encounter with Genichiro Ashina, who is essentially your equal in battle at this point in the game. The music makes Genichiro this threatening general whose power looms over you, until you figure out his cheese and then you kill him without any issues. But besides that, the piece is amazing and even though Genichiro could be a massive pushover, his music will always have my heart. This track is definitely what I'm looking for when I meant by intense and threatening. So, here's what I made within a few days. So I wanted to start off the piece with a tension. It's right before you attack, you pull out the sword, and you're facing each other. That's kind of the vibe I wanted. And I think having the lower strings just going ham, having that driving force that kind of hypes you up. And I added the Taiko hits because it's nice to have a Taiko hit. And then after a bit, I want to add a little bit of flair, kind of like the moving left and right, jumping back and forth using uh, these violins here without kind of overwhelming since we're still in the beginning, right? We haven't really started anywhere and it'll sound like this. It's unpredictable. You don't know exactly what your enemy is going to do. So I kind of want to make the unpredictability there. And I think it sounded nice. I also introduced horns and the brass instruments. It's mostly just underlying pedal notes, essentially, just going down a bass line. It sounds threatening, right? Your enemy you're facing, it's threatening, same level as you. You kind of want to have that tense feeling that this person knows their stuff and you're going right at against them. I also forgot to notice that the, the second violins are playing a tremolo, so it's just basically... And that's just also for tension. We're trying to build up as much tension. And now here, uh, along with the cello, will have the kind of the main melody or the main driving melody that will be playing throughout the rest of the piece. So it will sound like this. And that has been like basically the center of the whole piece. And as you have noticed, the, the base for that is basically just that, but extended. So it's going to be mostly this kind of motif that's going to be playing, and that'll be kind of the backbone of this whole piece. And now, uh, along with that melody, we also have the woodwinds kicking in. It'll basically kind of supplement with the melody. Yeah, I just basically just had the same melody for the flute and then for the oboe and the clarinet and B flat. I basically just moved some notes around to kind of have an extra harmony. So for the Taiko rim hits, it kind of represents the swords clashing each other. Instead of having like actual metal hitting, which will kind of be uh, deafening or unpleasant to hear, I replaced it with Taiko hits. And of course this also shows up in the Genichiro theme and when I heard it for the first time, it sounded beautiful. So I kind of want to have that similar effect to represent sword fighting and this is basically what it sounds like i also added the delay in case um it sounded kind of bland but even though it's not that much it's not too delayed now in the midst of 
the second part, one of the plays for the second time. The flute and oboe play sort of this pentatonic minor scale. It doesn't really go anywhere. It just, uh, I basically just put random notes down in that scale, just going ascending or descending. And I, it, it kind of adds a Japanese vibe to it. I think if you want something to sound Japanese, you just add pentatonic minor and call it a day. And this is kind of what I had to do at the end because, it, like again, I didn't know what to do for the woodwinds. It sounds great. Just listen to it real quick. And then afterwards, the flute kind of goes on its own, trying to be a soloist, essentially. Not a soloist, but kind of play its own thing, be in the spotlight, while the oboe continues to play the same, moving up and down motion. And then the clarinet joins as well. I think it sounds nice. The flute kind of has a nice flare to it. And then during that, of course, you have the cellos playing their thing. And then once we get to the actual climax, uh, everything kind of goes crazy. I also added a bit of choir in here. The flute and the violins kind of play the similar melody. It's erratic, but also melodious. And it kind of goes into the more faster paced melody that we had before with the cellos. And the brass also joins in. And it'll basically sound like this. I'll play it on the the cello here. And also the flutes and oboes are going in crazy. It basically feels like you're flying. It, the fighting is so into it that at this point, it's not just blades, it's, it, it's become a dance. And I think it does reflect on the 3-4. I didn't mention this earlier, but it is in 3-4, which is typically a waltz kind. It, it, a waltz is a dance, and having it in 3-4 kind of simulates that it's a dance you're fighting. Many people have described Sekiro as a rhythm game, and I kind of want to play into that. Because rhythm games, like DDR, it's kind of a dance, so sword fighting is a beautiful dance against you and the other opponent. So if we put it all together, it comes this beautiful piece right at the end. Now that we have finished this track, here is the final product with some Sekiro gameplay in the background. <laughs>
thank you for watching this video it's been very fun to make this it's been a while since i've made a piece and i really enjoyed every single second of it and honestly i think this is one of the best i know i keep saying this for every single time i've made new music but this is truly a good step up from what i've done before a lot of different layers a lot of different aspects i'm very proud of this now if you want to listen to only the music there is a separate video also in the end card and there's also another video that i made basically where i put this track on top of the genitro fight and see if it sounded good and by the looks of it i actually really liked watching it i sort of extended it the earlier parts to kind of sync up with the combat and then the final part the phase two it's amazing go watch it uh, thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe and please comment down below if you have any other types of music you want me to make because i'm trying this new format of me putting up my music i also want to now make these kind of behind the music videos and i think it's fun uh, for the first time and hopefully i make more of these uh, thank you for watching